Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And I just wanted to show you a tip and trick here kind of thing that is super useful. And you can see it on my shoulders, the otter. Now, why is the otter probably the most important shoulder tame in the entire game? The answer is actually really simple. And uh, it's something that's going to help you out a ton. For those of you that are new players in Ark, you should always have a shoulder mount on for a bunch of reasons. But I'll show you why the otter is the most important. Now, if you don't mind, smash that like button. Leave a comment below for the algorithm. Consider subbing to the channel. I'm starting to creep towards 100k, and that's been my dream all along. So... What is the point of the otter, right? So the otter himself, it doesn't seem like he's a super valuable tame. However, when placed on your shoulders, the otter, when increased in melee damage, provides you with a boost in all sorts of resistances. Now, I'm going to walk away from him so you can understand exactly what that means, right? So normally with clothes, like just base set of clothes on you can see my cold resist and heat resist is 96 and 134 which means that i'm still going to freeze to death and i'm still going to overheat in areas of the map that are kind of extreme temperatures especially because the island now has kind of weather patterns you will overheat and die and you will freeze to death and die pretty commonly however as soon as you get a decent otter on your shoulder and increase melee damage i'm going to show you the big change that it makes right just so you can see Cold resist is now 500, 497, and then heat resist is right around 319. So the reason that's a big deal, right? I'm going to go ahead and go to an area of the map that has crazy um, temperatures, and you can just see that there is no difference, right? So the swamp is typically overheating in this area. It's just so you can see you're sitting at 58 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's cool right now. However, if I was to go to an area like, I don't know, the volcano where you're going to 100% overheat, Normally speaking, your character is going to lose an insane amount of health. However, with one of these guys on your shoulder, you don't have to worry about that. I can literally sit directly above the lava where it's 107 degrees and not have a single problem. Now, cool, right? I can survive the heat. However, I can also survive extreme cold weather. So if I was to go over here in the area that's considered the frozen zone, you will freeze to death over here. I could literally wear nothing in this 18 degree Fahrenheit weather or negative whatever it is Celsius, negative zero or zero. Um, and I feel nothing, right? So that's a huge thing to have the otter on your shoulders. You're basically just getting rid of the ability to freeze or overheat. So you just die less. And that's a huge thing. Late game, early game, it doesn't matter all too much. But especially when you're trying to survive with like flak and stuff like that on that reduces your hypothermic insulation and stuff like that. This is a huge, huge play because then you don't have to worry about a lot of different things, right? Now, not only that, but when you have an otter on your shoulder, if you hold R, this is a new thing. You can actually access your pet inventory and your pet will carry things at a reduced carry weight. So let's say I can see the weight on this guy's 46, right? I can put 11 of those on him and it'll be 44 pounds. Now, he will carry certain resources at a reduced weight, but you're going to notice that it actually has less of an impact on you. So if I have my carry weight right now is 0.0, .0 but he will carry things at a lower weight. So you actually don't feel the weight. Um, and that's a pretty important thing for your shoulder because you're going to have a huge ability to carry additional things. And the otter specifically, right? If you put him in the water, he will access killing fish in order to get you pearls. Now, pearls obviously are super important, but occasionally he'll give you black pearl or shell, whichever one you happen to have will give you black pearls as well. And that's a huge resource, especially early game, right? So if I go ahead and throw this guy off my shoulder, you'll see that I can go ahead and whistle, attack this target, or just let him go to it. And he's going to attack the nearest fish, and he's going to bring it back to me. Now, this is what's super cool about that, right? I'm going to go ahead and go over here so you can see what I'm talking about. This otter is going to come all the way back, and he's going to come up to you and show you his little gift for you. And that is a very nice thing. Um, give it just a second so he can actually get to land. It's a cute little animation. And he's like, look, I got you a pearl. So then he's like, okay, cool, an individual pearl. Now he will occasionally pull a black pearl off of it. There's not really a, it's, it's just a random chance, by the way. So it's a quick little thing that you can use to access some pearls quickly. So the otter is by far the best shoulder mount in the entire game for those reasons. And hopefully this little tip and trick helps you out. All right, teach. Ow.